Hi everyone. Today we are going to start one more non-parametric test that is Moots Median Test. Moots Median Test, it is a non-parametric test. I am sure that I had already explained you in my previous videos what is the difference between parametric and non-parametric test where we are going to apply parametric test and non-parametric test. And I will giving you in my description box all the videos link where you can click on these particular link and you can watch parametric and non-parametric test. So non-parametric test to compare the medians of two independent samples. It's also used to estimate whether the median of any two independent samples are equal. So we will check when we are, we have taken independent samples from two different different uh, populations. So we can check whether these independent samples is equal or not. Median of these two independent samples are equal or not. Moots median non-parametric hypothesis test is an alternative to the one-way ANOVA. I will share the link of one-way ANOVA also in my description box. So you can watch that video, one-way ANOVA. But one-way ANOVA, that is a parametric, that is parametric test. It's not a non-parametric test because that is work on continuous numbers on the ratio or interval scale. This test works when the independent variable is continuous or discrete count and the independent variables are discrete with two or more attributes. Moots median test, it is a rudimentary two sample version of the sign test. This test can be applied to more than two samples, but it's not as powerful as crystal wallis test. I will share you share with you Crystal Wallis test video also. Crystal Wallis test again a non-parametric test. Parametric and non-parametric test where we are going to apply uh, because when your data is normally distributed, they, there we are going to apply parametric test. Means there would be assumptions of some parameters. But non-parametric test when there is variable variables are categorical that is not at ratio scale and data is not normally distributed and there is no requirement of assumptions of parameters. So there we are going to apply non-parametric test. Further we will come to the next one is while Moots median test is more useful for smaller sample size. When the data contains few outliers because this test only focuses on median value instead of ranks. What is the drawback if in your database more outliers? So median it is always work on. That is the most frequent number in your data set. But when you have outliers that would not give you a bias or uh, I could say unbiased picture and as well as correct picture when you have number of outliers in your database. Outliers means, let's say we are working on some um, uh, midterm marks or enter marks of our students, let's say 60 students in our class, and mean marks, sup suppose um, these are in class, let's say 65 out of 100, 65 or somewhere is 60 marks are mean marks, or we can say median marks also we can uh, we, we can call it means that is the most frequent number in this class but if one student have only one student have 98 marks and rest of the students are below 80 so this 98 marks are outlier for that database and let's say one student having only five marks or two marks, but rest of the students all are above 30 marks. So that means five marks, two marks, 10, these are outliers. That is not giving correct picture of that particular class. So here is usually the researchers prefer the Wilcoxon rank sum test or man whitney u test as they provide more robust result when compared to Moots median test. I will give you a link of Wilcoxon rank sum test as well as Mann-White-New test in my description box. 
The Moore's median test compares whether K independent sample have either drawn from the same population or from populations with equal medians. Then we come to the assumptions of the Moore's median test. The observations are independent both within the within and between samples. The observations come from population with a continuous distribution function. And next one is the distribution of population. The samples were drawn from all have the same shape. That's important. And application of Moots median test. Basically, we are, we are going to apply this Moots median test. The Moots median test is to compare the medians of customer satisfaction level. For example, that is our dependent variable. Of different account holders, independent variables are in a bank, current account holders, current account bank account holders, and saving bank account holders, customers. We just want to compare because both are entirely different sample, independent sample, I could say. So we just want to check satisfaction level of current account bank holders or saving bank account holders. And Satisfaction would become dependent variable and current account bank account that would are independent variable. So to compare the medians of matching times of different population lines in a manufacturing plant, line one, two, and three, can be analyzed. It could be analyzed using Miniter because in SPSS, there is no this kind of facility how we can check Moots median test. So using Miniter, I would show you in my coming up videos how you can calculate Moots median test. So I hope this video would be helpful to you. And uh, uh, because all these, I, I said non-parametric tests, all these links I will share with you in, your in my description box. So I hope this video would be helpful. Thank you. Keep watching. Stay tuned.